So now we're looking at an application load balancer specific feature called request routing, which allows you to apply rules to incoming requests and then forward or redirect that traffic. And we can check on uh, a few different conditions here. So we have six in total. So we have the header, host header, source IP, path, HTTP header, HTTP header method, or query string. And then you can see we have some um, then options. We can forward, redirect, return to fixed response, or authenticate. So let's just look at a use case down here where we actually have one, two, three, four, five different examples. And so one thing you could do is you could use this to route traffic based on subdomain. So if you wanted app to uh, uh, subdomain app to go to target prod and QA to go to the target QA, you could do that. You could either do it also on the path. So you could have forward slash prod and forward slash QA, and that would route to the respected target uh, groups. You could do it as a query string. You could use it uh, by uh, looking at an HTTP header, or you could say all the get methods go to prod. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but you could. And then all the, the post methods would go to QA. So that is request, uh, request routing in a nutshell.